Now we're gonna make this helmet. So this is my version two helmet. It's made out of spray foam, drywall, plaster stuff. I'll show you a picture and resin. This turned out so well. I am extremely, extremely happy with it. And I hope you like my tutorial showing you how I made this. So to start the framework of this helmet, I used a foam craft head that I got from Michaels and I used spray foam to just cover the entire thing. And I used a kitchen knife to just start carving away at it. Make sure you try it on multiple times and add more spray foam as needed. I also ended up grinding out the inside to make it fit better. Once you're happy with the shape of your helmet, there is lots and lots of layers going on. So to make this strong yet flexible, I followed the same process I did for my armor. So essentially I did two layers of wood glue, a layer of wall putty plaster, sanded that down, sprayed it. Again, two coats of wood glue, putty, sanded, more spray paint over and over again until I was happy with it. What is this? What is this? What? How does this even happen? I don't know. It's just madness. To add the details on the ears, I just used a children's air dry clay and I just melded it onto the helmet with my fingers, smoothing out the edges and making it a nice curve. I gave it two coats of wood glue to keep it all in place and I spray painted the entire thing a magenta pink. Her helmet has this transparency to it, so you're actually going to see this magenta pink underneath this translucent metallic purple that I'm painting the entire helmet. I gave it two coats of the translucent metallic purple, and then here I am actually adding the little side details. It looks like it's raised on the helmet, so I'm just shaping some warbler to fit that shape. The ear spikes I carved out of the flooring foam with a Dremel to give it that kind of rounded shape, and I'm putting the wall putty over it just to smooth it out. Once the putty was dried, I sanded it smooth and I gave it the same paint job as the helmet. So the magenta pink spray under it and then the two layers of the translucent metallic purple. I mixed up a light orange acrylic paint and I used this to add the details on the helmet, the little ear pieces, as well as these spikes. Once everything was painted perfectly, I used a high gloss resin to cover the entire thing and I covered the helmet, the ear spikes, and the ear covers all separately. The resin is what really finished the helmet. It makes the whole thing look extremely shiny and brand new and just make it look like it's all one solid piece. And the resin needs to cure for at least two days before you touch it, so make sure it's dry. But all I had to do was I scored the surfaces a little bit to make them rough so the glue would stick. The ear spikes have just plastic kitchen knives um, stuck in them just to make them more secure when I glue them to the helmet. So I'm just using super glue and attaching the ear spikes and then I'm attaching the ear cover on top of that. So I hope you like this tutorial. I am, I am really proud of this helmet, I won't lie. I really like it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you make a great helmet from this. Um, it doesn't have to be a honey lemon helmet. You can use this method of the spray foam and the plaster and the wood glue for any shape you want. You just have to carve it out of the spray foam. So this wasn't necessarily hard to make. It was just very time consuming doing all of those layers. So I swear, I think I put like 10 layers, 10 might be an exaggeration, but no less than eight. Seriously, that's how many layers it took to get the helmet to this level. So after the spray foam, seriously, two layers of wood glue, um, that patch and fill wall filler stuff, sanded it down as smooth as I could. And then I only spray painted it each time so I could see really where it was and when I sanded down what places were higher or lower. That was the only reason for the spray paint. So I guess you could skip that step. But after that, two layers of wood glue, putty, sand, spray. Two layers of wood glue, putty, sand, spray. Over and over and over and over again. Was not hard to do, it was just so time consuming because everything had to dry, then you had to sand it, and it was messy. And it just, every time I did it, it got a little bit smoother, and then a little bit smoother, and then a little bit smoother. It was never like instantly smooth, which is what I wanted really bad. I love it so much, it's so shiny. That's because the resin, the shininess on it, which I just thought of last minute to pour the resin on top of it, and I am so glad I did. It still is flexible, even with the resin and all the layers. Um, the wood glue is what really keeps it all together. Just the wall putty will actually crack and pop off with this flexibility. It's not that flexible, but the wood glue keeps everything together. So don't skip the wood glue. It's very important. I lined it with felt just because the inside was really messy. So I don't think I went over that in the video. 
I don't remember, but it's lined with felt and then it has a piece of Velcro right here. That's for my wig attachment and it kind of looks like something out of a horror show, like a decapitated head with the hair in it, which is kind of funny, but it is so comfortable to wear to not have to worry about a wig or anything like that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye. Is it going to be too scary? Yeah, too scary? Too scary. Can't be in this video, bird. Sorry.